Okay, I'm making another video, a more in-depth video on how to set up your all-in-one HP to basically use it as a monitor for Xbox, PlayStation, any HDMI input that you want to use this for as a just a screen, not a computer. So an all-in-one is just the computer. It's all built in. There's no towers. There's It's exactly just like a smartphone. So before this you can even go into any of this stuff. You need to see if you have a, oops, HDMI input. So you need an HDMI input right there before you can even get into any of this stuff. So if you don't have one of those, then your computer isn't made for it and you just can't do it. So I have an HDMI input and an HDMI output. That means my output is I can plug into this computer onto a TV or somewhere else and display what I am showing on this computer to the TV. So if you do not have an input, then it makes no sense for you. I mean, yeah, an input, then it makes no sense for you to even try this. Your computer just doesn't support it. Um, not all HDMI or all-in-ones support. Um, older ones do not. But if you do support it, what you're going to do is a few things. Right down here, if you have this icon, show hidden icons, that's what you're going to click, and then it's going to be HP Display Control. You're going to click that, and then it's going to give you these basic stuff. And then you're just going to go to HDMI input, and you're just going to click that, and it's going to click Continue to HDMI. So you can click this, and it's going to turn it straight to a, a, screen, a screen. Control Shift S plus D will get you back. So I'll click it, and it's just a blank screen. So then you click Control, oh, there's no HDMI. So let's try this. Control, Control, Shift, S, D. And then that gets me straight back into my all in one in a second here. Boom. So <clears throat> a lot of questions I've been getting asked is hey, I have this, but I don't have any icons. Or hey, I don't have this tab. So if you don't have that, then you're literally just going to go over to here. And you're going to go straight to HP Display Control. And if you have it, great. Again, this is only if you're able to get into an HDMI. So if you have an HDMI input, this will work. If you do not, then it's not going to work at all. And you're just going to be looking for nothing. Um, so that's what you need to click because it's just going to bring up the same exact menu over here. Um, and you're just going to use HDMI input. Uh, advanced literally does video accuracy color for gaming. Uh, mine will work for gaming. So that's why I bought this one. Um, just normal, normal stuff. So, and that's my all-in-one. So this only works with updated all-in-ones. Again, if you do not have an HDMI input, it's not going to work for you. There's no reason why you should honestly be continuing. Sorry, my cut camera cut out there. So if it doesn't work for you, if you don't have an HDMI input, then basically there's no way you can turn your all-in-one monitor into a just a monitor for your Xbox or your PS5 or anything else that you're trying to do. So I hope this helped out some of you. Um, someone did post a link in my last video. I pinned that to go to HP to their settings to actually find out where you can find this. Um, but other than that, good luck.